Hi friends, today we will learn about the PCI planning of the existing LT network. In the previous lectures, we have made LT project. After that, we calculate the coverage prediction of the network. Then we calculate the neighbor of the transmitter exist in the competition zone. Now we open the project saved which was made in previous lectures. Procedure of making project import importing of site data, cell data, transmitted data, coverage prediction and neighbor planning. All these function was done in previous lectures. Today we will learn how to plan the PCI for existing network which lies in the competition zones. But before going to the PCI plan, we have to know a little about, about PCI. What is PCI? PCI is physical cell layer identity. It is made by primary synchronization signal plus secondary synchronization signal ID. Primary synchronization signal range. 0, 1, 2 and secondary synchronization signal triple S ID this ranges 0 to 167 total 168 if we made from PSS and triple SS ID we found that total of 504 PCI group is made a total number of 504 PCI is made through PSS and triple S ID. Okay. Now we will start PCI plan of my existing network. Go to the option view. Then click on the network explorer option. After that, go to the option transmitter. First we calculate the path loss matrix. Calculate the path loss matrix. Calculation of path loss matrix is completed. Now, again go to the option transmitter, right click on this and go to the AFP, automatic frequency planning and click on the option automatic allocation. A new window, automatic resource allocation is open. Here, there are two options, physical cell ID and frequency. We have to plan the PCI, so we select the physical cell ID. Now we can tune the reuse distance 1 km, 2 km as per our requirement. Here we fill the 4000 meter means 4 km. Then go to the option constraints. In this we can change the allocation domain. We can use whole domain 02503 means total 504 PCI or we can use custom in this we can exclude the particular PCI or we can use parcel option. Here we can use the entire 0 to 503 PCI. Allocation strategy, secondary synchronization signal can be same per sites or free. We can use same per site means if a site having three cells, all the three cells having same synchronization signals id where pss will be different now go to the option start calculation is going on this is completed here we can so that calculation end here we can see the result 13440 PSS value, PSS ID 
and secondary regression id calculation is completed here we can also see the distribution which pci allotted how much times then go to the option commit when we go to the option commit the pci value plan through at all software will save in the this project commit this is saved here we can see 26168 site f 445146464 pci located now pci planning is completed if after commit pci value in the transmitter is not shown then we go to the option transmitter go to the option properties here general table propagation we go to the option display and we can change the label option if physical in if the in label option physical cell id is not selected just like if we remove this option and apply then transmitter not show the pci value in the map but we can export it go to the option transmitter and then click on the cells open table here we can see the pci value which was allocated by the planning tool now we want to see the pci value in the cell for this we go to the transmitter option then go to the properties then click on the display option and go to the label here we can select pci which can cell id it can cell id value will show in the cell option here is physical cell id select physical cell id and forward it selected fields then click on okay option apply this and then click on the okay here we can see the pci value which is allocated to the particular transmitter this is the automatic plan which was calculated by the at all planning software we can manually calculate if the our number of transmitter in our lt network is small then we can manually plan the pci by avoiding pci collision rule and pci confusion rule for avoiding pci collision and pci confusion we follow the rule pci mod 3 mod 6 and pci mod 60 mod 30 pci mod 30 rule is necessary 